Today we're going to use the sacred art of penetration to make evolution do things it just shouldn't do. And there's even been an update since the last time we played, so we're going to enjoy this more than ever before. Found my very first victim of the day. It's not even armed with anything, it's literally just here to die. And I really appreciate that. Thank you for your sacrifice. Spike versus Spike. And I've got the advantage, yeah you better run. And I've got so many points already I can't even absorb those ones. So in case of emergency, we're going to put this spike somewhere else. Like straight on the rear. We're going to put this sniper thing up front. And then for now a jet on either side of our main thing, that way we can survive a few hits. And now unfortunately we look like this. It's hideous. But we can also go like that and shoot a large projectile and that's going to be fun. Now we can hit things from a distance. Target acquired. Okay, first one was a miss. That's okay. We're working at the kinks. Got it. Uh-huh. Got it again. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Because those things are going to have trouble getting close to me. But I think they're actually healing slightly. So I'm going to need more of these shooter things. Well, I got part of it. Okay, finally got a kill. There was a little bit. Oh, we gotta stay away from the whirlpool. Gotta get all the points here before we move on. So we got seven points for now. Soon to be more once I kill these guys. Definitely gonna need more firepower than this. This is not enough. This is also one of the most annoyingly clunky creatures to use right now because my spike is on the wrong end. I'm staying way away from that one. So I took a speed cannon off for now. We're gonna add another sniper up front. That way we can fire two at once and we're gonna put another speed thing right here for now. It doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to kill things. And probably do that fairly quickly. Like it is. This is already way better. Look at all those upgrade points we just got. And the best part is I get a bit of recoil from that. So as I do that I go backwards and stab things. Now where did- there he is. See? That's like what I used to build. Which is also very functional, but of course he leaves his head pretty exposed so all we have to do is that and then he's dead. So we're going to add more cannons to the front of this thing and then we're going to one shot everything in the ocean. Okay I made a few small changes. We only have one jet for now but we've got more firepower up front and that's really all we need. I don't need to be able to move. I need to be able to do this. Definitely slowed down a lot though so we're going to have to add a jet as soon as we can. Not sure why this guy's swimming towards me. Clearly he doesn't realize that I'm completely hostile to absolutely everything. I think he's done. Area clear! And I'm not sure what's happening, but I've already seemingly broken the game. Level 2, and I'm kind of curious if I need anything to fire out the back or the sides of me. I really have unlimited room for spikes. Are we already on a boss? Yeah, honestly, we'll just sit here because I can't fit through that either. Way to go, stupid. You made yourself too big. A mistake which I don't have the privilege of making yet because I don't have enough points. But we'll get there. Yep, it handles like one of my creatures. Good work. I've taken very little damage this entire time so far, so my stupid idea is working right from the get-go with no improvements needed. It's literally just a little body now. Never mind, it's dead. And I can either pick a muck or a swarmer. I don't want either of those, so I'm just gonna take a swarmer and then we're gonna move on. The only improvement we need to make right now is a little more speed. Don't worry, we'll add more cannons very soon. Definitely pretty nervous about some of these areas. Stop, 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 I need those. That actually took away one of my uh, cannons and we've already repaired it. But if things get close to me, that could be a bit of a problem. Well, just hope they never get close enough to me because I can go like that from a long ways away. They can shoot each other, but I think I've got more firepower. Yep, it's already running away. Come back. There we go. I maybe need to make kind of a crossfire gun too, so I can fire more things forward. Otherwise, I'm going to get a very wide creature, and that's going to get annoying quickly. You know what we do need right now, though? More speed. Something to get us into trouble just a little bit quicker, because I'm not moving quick enough. Here's my next victim. Yeah, bring it in. Oh, I forgot the spikes also act as armor. Uh, okay, we're a little out of control. Don't worry, this will all make sense soon. A few inches later. Ooh, we're dead. I still regret nothing. We just need to adjust the sniper thing better. Maybe we just need a better combination of sniper and spike. Okay, here's what I've decided instead. We're going to use something called squirter, and that can shoot poison out in front of me. So if anything gets too close, I just poison it and then back off so I can shoot it with the missiles. Then I'm going to take this build so far and add two more water jets to it. That way I'm extra quick. That way when idiots like this come at me, it's going to stand no chance at all because I can literally just run right into it and do whatever I want. And the poison really seems to make a nice difference. Because anything that gets close to me really freaks out and gets weakened enough that I can absolutely dismantle it. Here's a horrible design that somehow works. I can shoot three darts and I can also poison things that get too close. So even when that thing attaches onto me like that, we can murder it because then it's stuck to me getting poisoned. And then as soon as I save up 30 or so points, we're going to add even more poison and shooty darts. But so far, this really seems to be a lot of fun. Because I used to hate those things that could grab onto me, but now they hate grabbing onto me because that means they die. Look at the size of that thing. Luckily he's too slow so he won't be able to do anything to me, but I can sit over here and just go like this. In fact, I'll even get close and poison him if I want to. It does have quite a bit of firepower, but I can just hit it out here from way back here and it can't do anything about it. 
decided I want to try a slightly new layout because things are getting way too much in my business and that tends to be where the danger is, I've added one little spike. I definitely still have poisoned as a deterrent out the backside, but for now I just wanted something to not get so in my business. And this new build maybe still has some faults to it. You know what? Ultimately, maybe we should go with poison and spikes and forget the sniper thing altogether because it just doesn't seem to be working for me. So this hilarious little creature might be the key to my success. I can stab and I can poison. So let's see how that works against what would typically be a very annoying enemy for me to defeat because it can grab a hold of me. I don't think it's going to want to grab a hold of me though because I've got lots of poison for it to have to deal with. It mostly just seems like it doesn't really know what to, how to deal with me. It can grab me if it wants, but it's not going to like what happens after that. So I'm just going to sit here and poke and poison it until it dies and then I'll take its body parts for my own. Okay, it did manage to grab a hold of me and it managed to get my stabber, which keeps coming back as I slowly destroy pieces of it. So it's just kind of a war of attrition at this point, but I'm more stubborn than it is anyway, so it's only a matter of time before the whole thing dies. There we go. Alright, this poison works great as a deterrent, but it doesn't really do a lot of damage, and damage is kind of what I'm all about, so we're going to have to make another adjustment. Here's a thought. I can do this now. That seems to me like it might have a lot of possibilities. Especially we can add something like, I don't know, the agonizer to this. We put an agonizer there and then one on the other side, we're going to do extra, extra damage. So let's see what we can agonize. Come here. There we go. Yeah, I'm kind of liking this build already. We can just sit here and kind of multi-rapid fire attack. So I think we just need more claws and more agonizers. We just need a lot of damage uh, somewhere off this creature. And I think this is also going to add me a lot of armor up front. Hi, you want to bite? Come here. Two hits and that thing died, so that's a good sign. And we can also extend things out a little bit more for some reason now, so we can get extra room for more agonizers, or biters, or whatever we want. Because, as luck would have it, we can now put four agonizers onto one single bitey claw. No, that's a lot of damage. And I already love how terrible this creature looks. And then we just fire a few jets on the rear, and we got a high speed biter that's gonna do a lot of damage. This is of course a bit of a glass cannon, considering I have one single weapon to work with. It is a very good weapon, but if I lose that mouth, I'm basically just going to die. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Of course, things like poison might be an issue because I obviously have to get close enough to bite things before I'm able to do any damage to them. I wonder if I can potentially get two mouths up front. Do you think we could fit two mouths in somehow? Uh-oh. 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 Alright, well that's what I was afraid of happening. Luckily there is a little bit of healing around, so I should be able to grow back my mouthpiece. Or, for the time being, I can sacrifice a jet, that way I can regrow my mouthpiece and maybe take it a little more seriously than I did before. We gotta get rid of those things before we get close. Because if they grab a hold of me, that's clearly a problem. Got your face! Uh-oh! 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 Alright, I maybe shouldn't have done that, but his face is right there. We just gotta stop getting shocked, because when we get shocked, we get stunned, and we can't hit anything. Other than that, I'm very afraid to bite its face as much as I please. Anyways, after beating Idiot Stick, finally, we have a choice between a grinder and a sprayer. They both sound so amusing. I think the sprayer could be useful to me now, but the grinder might be fun as well. We're gonna try this sprayer. And turns out, that is a sharp zooid that can launch a barrage of weak projectiles. Which looks something like this. Which is kind of interesting, they fly out pretty quick. So I'm gonna leave one right there in the back. That if way, if anything comes up behind me, we have a way somewhat to deal with it. And a secondary weapon. But ultimately, I would like to add more bitey mouths, because that's just good fun. Little hesitant to go near these grabby guys, because I know they can in fact grab me, and he knows it too. Oh, we gotta get away. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Another flawed design. And we're dead. Might be onto something here. I managed to get a second mouth, because I can connect things at a distance now. Which is both really good and really bad, all at the same time. And it definitely makes me a little slower, and I don't fit places as nicely, but when it comes to creatures like this now, I can definitely mulch them up very quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little extra damage to my second mouth. I think the trick to this guy is just to commit. Once I see something, I've just got to go straight into it and bite it. If I start trying to get too maneuverable, I die. But if I do that, I just power right on through them. Then with this little guy, he seems a little apprehensive to come near me. I don't blame him, because he's dead. That's another one with a grabber hand, so he can potentially grab me, which could be an issue until he turns into the bite. Then he dies. All I've learned from all this is that I need more bites. So, whoops, after adding a few bodies, that should be easy to do. We'll put a mouth over here as soon as we can. For now, we'll just enjoy eating whatever we could possibly fit in our mouth. I think once I add this third mouth and get a little bit more damage, we're going to have to work on the speed, because so far we're very slow. If things try and run away from me, they'll probably mostly get away with it. Until they turn around and look at me for some reason. Idiots keep taking my mouth, and I'm very annoyed by it. But I maybe understand why I turn about as well as the Titanic does. Uh, I might have to let these two fight. Okay, whatever, we're going in. Get out of the way, get out of the way. 
get that mouth in there. Yeah, we got one down. Uh, the other one's coming from behind. We will turn around very slowly to get a bite on it. Yeah, this is working well. As long as I get my face into them, they're going to have trouble. Uh, okay, we're going to back up and let them fight for a sec. Should I just, should I just go for it? Yeah, we're just going to go for it. Whoops, didn't mean to jump over there. I like how deep, like, the penetration goes with that beak. I can get it right into their body. Uh, okay, suddenly we're being surrounded by all sorts of idiots, so let's take the little one first. There we go, that was nice and easy. And this one, since he's so happily running into my mouth. I really miss my second mouth, but creatures keep eating it, so it's very hard to keep. And this guy's got those missiles that I like so much, but they're going to be hard to overcome. Okay, we got the missiles down, now we eat the face. Oh, a competitor. There can only be one giant mouth on this map. I think today's going to be a new record for the most things I've ever put in my mouth. Uh, this beak really does have an unfair advantage, because I can actually bite usually through the first line of defense straight into their face, and that definitely kills them quickly. Finally got enough nutrition to grow my second mouth back. Now it's just a matter of trying to keep it for long enough to actually get some use out of it. But we're just going to dive straight into this creature because I can't help but put things in my mouth. I think all I need is another four evolution points and I can finally get my third mouth. And yes, that is a lot of mouths, but you can never have too many of a good thing. I think we found the right end, oh, of a big creature. Okay, maybe not the right end, but I thought because it was fighting they would be easy to kill. And I wasn't really wrong, but I gotta be really careful how I do this because I'm burning up a lot of health and stuff fighting these things. Uh, okay, since he wants to fight, let's just dive straight on into him. How do you like my mouths? Perfect. Okay, well for now, since I don't need all the body parts over here, I removed those two and added my second mouth back again. This way I'll be a little bit quicker and bitier again. Okay, that's a big creature. We're going to try and run away from that. Uh-oh, this isn't going to be good. I didn't know there's creatures as big on the map. Okay, keep biting. We might actually be able to... Yeah, we'll go right through this guy. Yeah, there we go. I thought that was going to go a lot worse than it did, but I've got to get out of all this poison. And also deal with this idiot who ran right into my mouth. Again, it's the less I think and try, the better I'm going to do. Pretty sure this guy's the last one left alive, and I really need to kill him because I need some healing to get my second jet back. Or it's somehow already gone, so we're just going to add another jet. I'm not really sure what's happening anymore, but we're just going to keep adding parts to this creature. And by parts, I mostly just mean more mouths. Okay, luckily for me, I have a very optimistic winning attitude, so we're going to dive right into this and just start biting things. I don't even know where the head of this thing is. Did I bite it yet? Oh, it's to the left. Yeah, we're being outmaneuvered because my creature basically can't move. We can definitely win this now. Now that we got the business end of things pointed in the right way, we're going to pick up a little bit of this nutrition for some healing. Then we're going to kind of just get right on in there. Yep, bit its face twice and it's dead. So I'm definitely going to take a radial because that's going to give me extra speed. Although the jets I'm using are actually a lot better. But that's okay. We've got our mouth. Still not enough of them, but we've got two. Oh, we got more mouthy guys to fight, but mine are definitely going to do more damage. Though, they still managed to kill my main one. That's pretty annoying. I guess I gotta be the one to bite first. Well, one mouth is more than enough for someone like me. He was just copying my design anyway. I'm the only one that's allowed to have more than one mouth. That's cool. Okay, I'm gonna eat you because you're stealing my idea. I should have paid closer attention to how he had that laid out because I feel like he made it a lot simpler than mine. Though I do have more, uh, you know damage coming out of mine for a single mouth and we'll just sneak up behind him and whoop uh oh uh oh that's not a good place for him to be this is fine everything's fine i just gotta kind of uh manage to get around him somehow we're gonna turn this way and hopefully lose him somewhat oh that guy may take over the fight there we go you guys can fight then i'm gonna turn around and bite both of you oh he still wants me though that's not fair uh oh that maybe wasn't the best decision I've ever made, but I still regret nothing. Those mouths are a lot of fun. Next time, we definitely need more something. 